Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Family Health Podcast, a podcast for families and leaders that want to strengthen families. My name is Dr. Corey Gilbert, an author, university professor, licensed professional counselor, a life coach, and researcher, and speaker on topics such as trauma, abuse, sexual ethics, and gender, and sexuality issues today. I will be your host. In this podcast, we'll be focusing on four areas. See these as a quadrant, your health, your purpose, your relationships, and your work. Each week, we will be diving into one of these four areas with the goal of challenging you and encouraging you in building strong families. We're sponsored by the Family Launch Academy, a community of families, parents, and leaders that want to see their children launched well into adulthood, prepared for what's to come. Find out more about the community, resources, courses, trainings, and Q&As with me, Dr. Gilbert, and the Family Launch Academy by joining our free Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Family Launch Academy. Now let's get into this week's episode. Hey there, this is Dr. Corey Gilbert with the Family Health Podcast. I'm here with my son, Blaze. Say hey, Blaze. Hello. So tell me a little about yourself. Well, I am really into books and video games and... How old are you? 11. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Georgia for about five years, and now I've I've been living in Oregon for my for the past six years. Yeah, so Georgia, then Oregon. That's kind of what you know. Plus, we've done a lot of cross-country trips, which is fun to see the rest of the United States. Mm-hmm. But even across country, what are the what's the thing you do most of the time driving? Read. Yep. So you love to read, which has been really cool to watch how much you enjoy reading. We even found out, which is kind of funny, he went and got his eyes checked, and he needed glasses for reading, and they were, like, blown away that he was still reading at all because you were struggling so hard to read, which is kind of funny. My eyes hurt. Yeah. But you still did it because you enjoyed it, which is awesome. Video games is another thing, and so that's kind of what we're going to talk about today. Um, We have limits on video games. Is that a good thing? Definitely. Why is it a good thing? Because it makes it so that we do not play for infinite amounts of time. Right. And see, each family has to figure out what they're going to do with those limits. And we're honestly figuring this out and trying to learn what's the best for them. We've noticed Alex, my older son, reacts differently to not only the limits but also playing games than you do. Because sometimes you used to get mad, if, so the limits yes. had to get tighter for you, right? Um, remember that time you grounded yourself? Was it the Wii? Yeah. What'd you do? I hit my sister's forehead, and the, and she really started bleeding. Gushing blood. Oh, my goodness. And you were like, Mom, Dad, I'm grounding myself. That was... Just adorable, too, but you were, like, I think it's, like, seven years old. Yeah, seven-year-old saying, I'm going to not yeah. play video games for three <laughs> days. And I actually did it. Yeah, because you love your sister, which is really cool, even though she can be annoying at times and vice versa. I still love her. Good. That's awesome. Yeah, but we have limits. We actually have a couple hours a day, and then every once in a while we do give more time. But you'll have to figure out those limits for yourself for, for video games and what you play, because some of the shooting games can get kind of crazy. Like and Apex like Apex Legends, and then Fortnite's really a fad right now. Um, And so is that okay to play? Again, you as a family has to figure that out. We've continued to have these conversations, and there's times we kind of have to pull it back and limit it as well, don't we? Um, What's one of the dangers of just having unlimited video game play? Addiction. Yeah, you basically play forever, right? You don't ever stop. Kind of like how I played Minecraft. I played like Rocket League for about an hour less than an hour then i started playing minecraft for like five hours Mm -hmm. and so we actually saw we actually tried to delay minecraft forever when they were younger because that was such a popular one because it's one of those just rabbit hole of just time it would just go forever and ever and ever because there's kind of no stop start and stop there's a start and build forever so these become a stewardship thing which is important Um, you can get into a book and what happens for you at a book at night I read past... In the- <laughs> way past bedtime. I'm like, wait, it's it's one in the morning? Yeah, and mm-hmm. we've actually decided, because we homeschool, like, we don't, like, aren't really strict about bedtime with that when they're reading. We, like, go to bed at 11 and I read till 12 or 1. Yeah, which is sometimes not always good. Definitely. But we also can sleep in, which is a benefit of our, our family life, which you, again, have to figure out your family life. Um, same with video games. So you're, again, 11 years old. Uh, what are some of the other things that you've enjoyed doing? What are some things we've done in the last few weeks? 
we've gone camping with the Boy Scouts yesterday, two days ago. We went kayaking. Yeah, down the Willamette River. It was really fun, especially just like jumping off the boat and mm-hmm. purposely flipping it. Yeah, it's it's Oregon, so it doesn't get hot that much, but it was hot enough that it was just a great day to be it's yeah. hot outside and the water was cold and wonderful. So. so that's why if you didn't get out, you wouldn't start fe- feeling freezing, but it would still yep. be not as good as being in the water. Yeah, but it was fun, definitely. It's good fun to see you and, and Levi laughing and goofing off and stuff, which is part of the stage of life as well. But at 11, do do you have a purpose in your life? I hope. <laughs> That's part of what we're trying to figure out and growing you into. But what's the most important thing for you when it comes to us helping you grow up and leave our home? Is it you going and getting a job or just leaving the house? Getting a job and... Or is it just getting married? Getting a job and getting married. Getting <laughs> married? Going to college? Yes. What if it's none of those? Then I'm homeless. <laughs> it's true. But one of the things that we've seen, Barna's research is incredible about this, shows that the most important thing in raising our children is that they are champions for Christ. That your heart, in terms of your faith, matters probably more than any of those other things, which is what we try to do with community Bible study, um, with our kind of a a very good Christian scout group, the church we go to, our homeschool co-op, doing a lot of things like that, which keeps you pretty busy. Yeah, which your which one's your favorite one to do? Out of all those things, probably play video games. <laughs> Back to the video games, yeah. And see, vi- that's probably normal for you too, right? It's either video games or books. I still can't decide. It's funny. I remember one of our Boy Scouts on a on a backpacking trip. Um, he didn't bring his big thick book. And when he got back, his dad said, aren't you glad you didn't bring that book and you brought your chair? And he said, nope, I would rather have brought my book and left the chair because he loves to read too, which is awesome. And so we're growing up these young men into hopefully godly adult men that love God and put the priorities in the right place. You've got a lot of good friends, which is so awesome to see. You see these words here. You have work, relationship, purpose, and health. You work hard. You have good relationships. We're helping you figure out your purpose. And then the health ones, as we help each of us learn how to eat better, exercise, um, and then our mental health as well. So that's part of it. So it's good talking to you at Blaze. Um, Looking forward to doing some more of these with you and me learning from you and hopefully teaching others about how, how we have some of these conversations. So say bye. Goodbye. Yep, he's my funny one. Adios. Bye. Thanks for tuning in to the Family Health Podcast. I hope these become valuable resources full of encouragement and challenges as you lead your family well and with confidence and definitely not alone. Find out more about marriage and family life coaching and consulting at HealingLives.com. I want to help you and your family be successful in marriage, love, life, and family. Thank you to our sponsor, the Family Launch Academy. To get your family moving in the right direction quickly, check out our website, HealingLives.com, for available options that will serve your family best, from counseling and coaching to seminars, online courses, and more. It is an honor to serve.